A new courthouse is officially under construction in downtown Austin. Voters didn't approve it, but county leaders made it a priority. A decade after a bond proposal worth almost $300 million failed, our Brittany Glass explains why leaders say the new space was worth fighting for. It's been a long time coming for justice in Travis County. We're finally going to break ground on a building that is long, long, long overdue for the citizens of Travis County. The commissioner's court says case demands have outgrown the current civil and family courthouse. The building's been around since the 1930s and was designed to hold just four courtrooms. Right now, it has 19. We want this building to be vibrant and useful and helpful and most importantly we want the community to know that this is a safe place for them to come. Judge Sarah Eckhart says the new civil and family courts complex will have enough room to be sensitive to the families using it. So that people who are coming on sometimes the darkest days of their lives have a, an appropriate space to resolve their conflict especially when it comes to emergency protection and divorce cases. You know, sitting on a wooden bench in a, in a, uh, a cold and uh, not very well lit hallway within arm's reach of the person that you're asking for protection from um, is just not appropriate. For couples and their kids. It will have child care so that there'll be an appropriate place for children to stay. A welcoming building the county says everyone can enjoy with green spaces, updated technology, and a self-help center. It's going to do everything that this community needs. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. Last year, county commissioners agreed to a deal worth around $312 million for the site at 17th and Guadalupe. Travis County taxpayers will pay for it over the next 20 years.